you would just say it as it was and you would push me and openly insult her and she <laughs> liked she liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a that was a really bad take. <laughs> I loved it, I loved it. I hope that I can work with you again and again and again. Oh, and so you too. Nick. Yeah, me too to you. Yeah, too Cat to person too. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Be cool. <laughs>
complexities of the issue around consent. And I think it, it's not often that, you know, a film like this that touches on the gray area of consent is, is shown on screen. So I think it will, it will kind of leave a lot of people thinking. Yeah, I mean, I hope the film doesn't dissuade people from trying. Like, because what these two people are trying to do is be together. And so I think dating is trying and mm -hmm. it's, it's a brave thing for people to do. So I hope it doesn't paint a picture of like, ah, it's, you know, hopeless. Like there's still hope. It just wasn't this. This couple didn't work, but mm -hmm. both of them will work for somebody else. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is most couples, you know? Mm -hmm. I yeah. think like we've had a lot of, well, we've had a lot of movies that are love stories. And then recently, um, there have been a lot of movies that deal with consent in a way where the woman knows what she does or doesn't want. But I think what's interesting about this is just the idea that sometimes consent is an evolving thing. Like we can change our mind or people do change their mind. You know, and what Margot experiences is ambivalence, which mm -hmm. is something that we don't see enough movies about. So I think most people have ambivalence. Unless somebody is the love of your life or an objectively terrible experience, you're probably ambivalent about having an intimate relationship with them. And that, that's sort of what we're trying to explore.